Hi guys, welcome to Matt's Lockpit. Tonight's video is going to be a picking video. Um, it's going to have a slight twist to it, so keep watching guys, it's going to be fun. So basically, I had this funky little contraption in a recent package. I thought to myself, that looks cool, let's have a little play. So I opened it up, and it comes apart. thought to myself, ah, I know what this is, it's a motorbike disc brake lock. I thought this part here would go through the hole of the disc brake. Clamp on, as soon as it touches the other side it locks, can't pull it apart, and then you just tighten it up to however tight you need it. So I thought, cool. However, it turns out I was wrong. It is in fact an Anglo Arms gun trigger lock. So yeah, in my mind that makes it cooler. I like stuff that's a bit different, and I've never actually come across one before, so I instantly thought, yeah, I'd like to make a video with that. Um, had a few problems with making a video with it though. Uh, first problem is the fact that it's a wafer lock. It's a single sided wafer lock with a boring key. And um, yeah, it's only got about four wafers in it. So if I stuck it in the vise, it would take three, maybe four seconds. And um, it would be a shit video. Um, my second and the biggest problem was the fact that I'm from Great Britain. We have very tight gun laws over here, guys. Um, crazy tight. So um, it's not as if I can just chuck a Glock on my workbench and pick it off that. I'd have the police round in no time, kicking my door through, and I'd be off to jail. So, um, yeah, I was thinking, how can I make a cool video? So I was thinking and thinking, and then it dawned on me. I can, um, I can treat you guys and show you a lovely bit of history. So here we have a revolver, and it's not a Sparrow's revolver like we're used to seeing. This is, in fact, a Webley Mark VI service revolver. And it's a genuine World War One gun. And uh, for any of you getting your nipples in a twist at the fact that I've just pulled out a revolver onto my workbench, I have all the relevant documents and certificates stating that this is a 100% legal and safe gun. So, yeah, don't worry about the gun, guys. Just enjoy the picking and enjoy the history. So, um, yeah. For any of you that are interested in the gun, after I got round to doing the picking, I will show you about the gun. I've got some cool added extras. As I said, it's a lovely bit of history, I'll tell you a bit about it. So, we put one side of the lock, one side of the trigger. Get the other part, line it up. As you can see, it is now already locked onto the bar, and we literally push it till we get our desired tightness. That simple. And, um, to be honest, that looks really good. You can't fault that. No way of accessing the trigger there whatsoever. So, it does look like a very good security feature. However, I've picked this several times in my hand, and I think the longest it's taken me is about five seconds. So, I've never actually picked it on the gun before, but I can't imagine it being much more difficult. But, let's have a look. So, I'll get my tension wrench in. Down the bottom there. It's a little bit tricky to get tension on with the position of the gun, however, I'm sure it'll be fine. I can start off, short work should be fine. I'm gonna try and individually pick the wafers and see if we can get this thing open quickly. As simple as that, guys. And um, that's not even really funny, really. I can only summarize from this that um, these things, surely to God, are a secondary uh, security choice. Surely nobody has this as their primary way of securing their gun. However, I'm not going to get into gun politics on here. This is lock picking. Um, but still, a very cool little lock. I do like it, even though it's a bit shit. So, yeah, cool. So, for any of you interested, as I said, this is a Webley Mark VI revolver, service revolver. Lovely piece. Show you the other side. As you can see, we've got a bit of damage to the handle. Um, I am trying to source new handles. I haven't got around to it yet. I'll show you why in just a second. I'll place that down there. Get the camera into a better position for you. So, yeah, basically, as I said, it's a Webley Mark VI revolver service pistol. Um, yeah. 
it's a break point revolver that means when you break it you activate an extractor so when you push it normally you'd be doing this fast and the bullets would pop out like such so it'd empty all the cartridges out of the cylinders this bullet's nothing to worry about guys this is an in it bullet purely for demonstration and size purposes don't know if that'll focus for you no so yeah cool snap that back down for you as I said the Webley Mark 6 um, they were introduced in 1915 so um, very old piece of history we got here guys I said to you I hadn't got around to replacing the handles yet and I said I'd show you the reason why this is in fact the reason why it comes with a shoulder stock so what I'm going to do I'm going to stick that on for you guys keep watching it's going to take me about 30 seconds I'll keep talking and um, that won't be the end of it I've got something else to show you so yeah as I said the Mark 6 were introduced in 1915 however um, the owner of this gun fought in World War 1 and unfortunately the last battle he fought in was the Battle of Passchendaele which um, actually took part between July and November to bloody hell 2017 what am I on about 1917 so that dates this gun at over 100 years old so as I said what a lovely piece of history so I've taken the handles off I hope this stays in frame for you guys, I'll do my best. So as I said, the officer who owned this gun, unfortunately, he fell in the Battle of Passchendaele in 1917. Um, all of his personal effects were sent home. And um, during that time, officers were expected to purchase their own added extra equipment. Um, meaning he owned it, meaning it was shipped home with his personal belongings. to become a nice piece of history. Look at that. A shoulder stock and a revolver, what a beautiful thing. And to think, I've seen actual World War One. It's over 100 years old. I said I had added extras. So the last but not least, final extra. A bayonet. And if this weapon couldn't get any more badass, a bayonet on top of it is sure to increase that. Lovely T-spine on the end as well. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera. So I'll pop that on for you and show you it. As quick and simple as that. Now how badass is that for a 100 year old piece of history? What a lovely thing. So I hope some of you have enjoyed this video. Um, I personally like it. I think it's a tremendous piece of history. As I said, if anyone's got any worries about it, I do have all the genuine paperwork and documents needed to make it 100% safe and legal. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to spend my bank holiday Monday giving it a good oil. I'll also just show you one more nice piece of history, which is going to get my attention this week. We have a World War II Gurkha Kukri blade in dire need of a bit of love and attention. So... Work dependent, that's how I plan to spend my bank holiday Monday. I hope all you guys do something that you love this bank holiday. Thank you all for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and take care now. Bye.